All right, Knights of Apollo, are you ready for another battle? This is another online multiplayer battle on Shogun 2. And this is an Avatar Conquest, so we're going to see a real just like mix of different units and whatnot. We got armies from the, you know, the normal vanilla game. We've got armies from Fall of the Samurai. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see it all come together. Now, this is a 3 versus 3, and it does, just to warn you, it does get a little confusing who's who. It, because that's just the nature of Avatar Conquest. I um the this is my technique of trying to keep up with who's who. <laughs> is eventually you get used to the faction colors. Um, but look at the mini map. You've got the red side here, which includes a red and turquoise army. You got a black on black army and a blue on blue army, right? And then on the other side is the blue army. I know that's confusing because none of them are blue, but on the mini map they're represented by blue squares. And every faction on this side is uh, using black as their main color here. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. Again, if you're ever confused on what the hell's going on, look at the mini map. It'll kind of help you uh, figure out who's killing who. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do normal speed here. Or actually, we'll keep it slow motion because these battles do start off really fast. So um, looking at really quickly looking at these armies. I mean, there's so many units on the field right now. I'm not going to go through every single one, but... We do have a uh, Fall of the Samurai army uh, right here. So you're going to see some guns, some late period swords and, and whatnot. In the center, the black on black. This is your vanilla army. This is your the Shogun army, I suppose. Uh, he's bringing some monks, a lot of monks actually, which are weak to projectile fire. So they got to be careful here. Uh, but yeah, he's got a... These are the Naginata warrior monks and he's also got some yari ashigaru which is a solid unit it's not the best but if you use them wisely they can be really good and then on the final army of the red side the red army uh another shogun army uh some yari ashigaru some uh yari samurai a lot of yaris uh, some naginata naginata warrior monks in the back and i love shogun too it's just so cool man i love this this area of history. I love uh, J Japanese history. It's so fascinating. And damn, their aesthetic is like, oh, you know, their aesthetic is fire. You know, it's, I don't like it as much as like Western European medieval, you know, with like, like plate armor and castles and, but damn, this is close. Like uh, there's just something so cool about, I mean, the style of armor and the, the blades, the weapons and, the flags on the backs, it's just, it's so cool. It's J Japan definitely has a uh, very beautiful aesthetic, beautiful country, beautiful people. Uh, so love learning about the, the Japanese history. Um, so anyways, this starts off pretty quick here. I feel like I could do this whole battle in slow motion, but we got a massive cab charge from the Red Army. This is the blue on blue uh, team or um, player. And he's going to go and charge in with some Yari Cav. He's going to get aggressive. Uh, now, we, the uh, the blue army player, he has hidden units that become unhidden. And we've got a massive Cav engagement. Beautiful. Fantastic fight. A brutal fight. And it looks like both sides, it's pretty even. Pretty even right here. And it's going crazy. Now we've got Cav support from his teammate. This is the black on black. Uh, I, there's two black on black factions, but this one's coming from the blue army side. So he's coming to support and it's becoming too much. Oh, but look at this. A massive charge of infantry. My goodness. Look at this charge. Look at... Oh! Oh! And look at they a, a tactical retreat from the opposing army. This is uh this is the person who's Trevor. He sent in the replay. He's doing a tactical retreat right now, and he's gonna try to set up a new firing firing line. This is actually really smart right here because what he's doing is pulling him into a trap. Uh, the blue army, or I'm sorry, the red army, but the blue player, <laughs> he has committed his army so deep into enemy lines. It's almost to the point where there is no return. But as he gets deeper and deeper into this uh, enemy position, his flanks are being completely exposed. And now he's getting blasted. He's trying to maintain that and prevent the flake from flank, the flake, the flank 
from being exposed there. Uh, but it just doesn't work out for him. Here comes even more reinforcements. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, this is the two black-on-black -black factions. You can tell they have different symbols for their, you know, their icons there. So, now we've got re- Okay, let's slow it down. Let's just... Let's take a breather here because, my goodness, so much is going on. We need to slow it down. So, back this way, the calf has... No, this is not the cab. This is just more and more Nodachi Samurai. Again, Nodachi, very, very deadly up close and personal. But if they get shot at, that's how you whittle them away. Uh, but they're doing a good job closing the gap and doing everything they need to do. Uh, back this way, uh, it, Blue looks like he's doing pretty good, honestly. He's getting a lot of his units stuck in combat. And that's where his army's strength is. So that's very promising for him. Man, this is awesome. I really got to do more Shogun 2 battles, you know? Like, I really... I think I got to... I'm kind of feeling like a stream for Shogun 2 because this is one of the... I think this is the last great Total War game. Probably the best Total War game of the modern era, you know, outside of, like, Medieval 2, Rome, Total War. This is probably the best one. I know it carries some characteristics of, like, the newer style of the Total Wars, but I think overall this is just, like... A masterpiece and look at we got black on black fighting it's confusing as hell who's who i mean that's what it that's sometimes that's why avatar conquest can be really frustrating but trevor has his army so spread out he's got the bear infantry i you know one thing i don't like about the fall of the samurai armies in multiplayer battles is the length of like how stretched out these these lines are it almost looks like comical like how stretched out they are i know that's like a good strategy because you're getting more guns firing at once uh but yeah i wish there was some kind of trait that like forces them to at least be a three line you know at like better morale or something um but yeah now we've got a bunch of cab charging and closing in and trying to surround the, uh, it's hard to tell what's going on, but they're trying to surround and help Trevor here, and it's, that's what they're doing. They're tr surrounding the other black-on-black -black faction. Now we've got more Cav coming in. This is from the faction all the way on the other side. The, uh, the Red Army, uh, I guess the Red Army Alliance, I guess. Uh, but he's coming all the way from the other side. He's got some Revolver, revolver Cav and some Yari Key, and they're going to charge in and try to get some, uh, some port here for Blue. So while that's going on, let's go ahead back over to this side. This is kind of like a 1v1 going on here. And uh, we've got Shogi, uh, Shogotai or something. It's This is like a police force. Uh, they're fighting against some Red Bear infantry. And this is a much closer fight. A little less chaotic for sure. Here comes a nice cav charge. Let me go ahead and slow it down here. Sorry, brain fart. I, I don't know why I like hesitated with cav charge. But yeah, there's a cav charge. And uh, it's pretty intense over here. Both sides are following the samurai armies. We do have a push in the center. This is a very important shrine. This is increase the morale of all units. That's very powerful. And you can see that that is why they're fighting so hard for it. We got Major Cougar, uh, <laughs> interesting name, who is uh, helping his ally. Again, he's part of the Red Alliance, trying to hold on to the shrine to keep the morale high for all of his units. Which is really helping out the blue on blue faction, having that morale bonus. Back over this way, it looks like blue is starting. When I say blue, I mean literally the army is starting to uh, be wither, withered, whittled, whittled down. Jeez, I can't even talk. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've pretty much evaporated blue, and it's a solid stand here from Trevor, who is the red and black faction. And there we go. Oof. He's still going to try to close in that infantry to try to get in there, do some damage. That's nice. God, what a cinematic, what a cinematic fight. So Blue's all spread out. He's doing what he can. He's doing some good damage. His ally is zooming around the battlefield as well. Going through the tree line. Oh, nice little volley with a revolver cav. And he's going to do some hit and run tactics. I think he sees a juicy target, which of course is the artillery for Trevor. Is he going to go for it? It looks like he's going to just run right by it, which is very surprising. Maybe he has urgent business over on the other side. No, he turns, but it's going to be too late. What are you doing? He turned into a line of guns and now they're just standing there. And they're getting executed. They need to get out of there. That's a costly, costly uh, loss right there. Oh, now the arrows are coming in. 
That's that's tragic. Here comes another cab charge. Again, what are you doing? He's charging into a line. This one, definitely a better charge. But I wish he got the artillery. He just kind of left the artillery there just to, to chill. So, anyways, uh, what's left is the general of the blue on blue army. And he's going to get out of there. He's going to try to save the general's life and flee. Now, the balance of power is in favor of the red army because... This army has defeated his opponent that was head on, which of course was the black on black faction. Now his ally also has a black on black, but think of uh, the black on black has this leaf sigil. Uh, that's his ally. And the other black on black has the little sharp Trinity thing symbol. <laughs> so uh, I'll just call it the Trinity thing. Uh, but yeah, night. Oh, wow. Those arrows just getting over that hill. And wow, I mean, the skill that would require to hit this perfectly, that is that is terrifying. Imagine just thinking you're safe behind this hill and you see arrows fly in and just get you right in the face. So, uh, how is this going to play out? Well, I think that um, what's going to happen here... There we go. We've got some archers closing in. They, both sides need to consolidate their forces, that's for sure. And I think the red army needs to get aggressive because the blue army, and when I say blue, I mean on the minimap, uh, they have artillery. And they are not afraid to use it. And it is doing costly damage. Costly damage to these advancing troops. Uh, they're breaking. That is a tragic loss. I don't know what the plan was there, honestly. Uh, I think what they should have done there is probably engaged with the guns first and then charged in the melee to try to keep some of the enemy guns occupied with their own guns. Now we got the general. He's just fighting for honor at this point. He knows that his army's defeated and most likely it will lead to his own death. He's just going to go in and, and try to have an honorable death. But he goes in and disrupts a unit of Red Bear Infantry. We also have some cab charging in. This is a... Uh, oh, you, it's a U.S. Grant. No, it's the char... It's the general. Is it, Wait, are, are these two units of generals charging in? Did he charge in his general? Wow. He char... That, no, that's not the general. That can't be. He wouldn't charge it. No, see, his general's over here. Right? No, that's not his general. Oh my god, he charged in his general like that. That's not a good sight. Um, that army just got annihilated. But the black on black army with the leaf, right? His name is Major uh, Cougar. He's advancing some fresh units of Yari Ashigaru from the back lines. This is interesting. If they can close in quick enough without taking too many... Oh, they're out of there. They're like, ah, forget it. Never mind. Never mind. There's too many guns coming this way. He's got some archers over here. They're going to use the terrain to kind of use the hill and the building to kind of protect them. That's awesome. Great use of the... See, that's the advantage archers have over guns. They don't have many advantages, but they do have one. They can definitely angle their shots a little bit more effectively. So, really good use of the hill here. Try to uh, skim uh, skirmish down these units. But unfortunately, a lot of units are getting absolutely... Of, oh, nice. Good shooting here by this one unit of bear infantry. But this is the last unit of that uh, that red, that crimson and turquoise faction, pretty much. He has a cav unit over there, but it's not. It's pretty depleted. Uh, he's going to charge in and try to keep this bit side busy. But really, uh, the blue team, the all-black... Uh, faction here or, or teammates you know they all have the black as their main primary color it looks like they can now focus most of their attention over on this this is really what's left of the red army side so uh the balance of power is looking pretty good so we it was pretty pretty interesting battle here with total shift a total shift in uh in power here in the balance of power now the advantage goes to the blue army on the minimap so we'll see, um, we'll see what they can do with it. Um, I, it's going to be hard to believe that there's any way they could lose this battle. I mean, they have overwhelming 
the advantage in overwhelming guns. Now, remember, there's two units of Yari Ashigaru in this tree line. They hold on. Look at this. And they also have two over here, but this one's ready to, to, to dip. This one might be able to charge in, but yeah, they captured the shrine. Good for them. That's going to keep the morale high. Um, now they're opening fire. There are some archer units on this side, on the blue army side, so they're kind of using archer v archer wait no these are guns i swear oh there it is the monks so c4 here is the black on black player for the blue team and so we got a little bit of a skirmish battle but there's some healthy units of uh of archers here so this definitely could be a problem if they don't try to do something honestly i feel like they got to do something aggressive here i mean charge through the tree line but i feel like the blue team understands that there's some units waiting for them in there that might be why they're sending forward a cheap unit of matchlock ashigaru to try to bring him out of cover but nothing has a have has arrived yet so we'll see how that plays out now back over this way they they sent a unit of cav i believe this is the general's bodyguard for trevor's army He's, he's coming over to neutralize this. That's a smart play. These Both these units are very depleted. Just keep shooting at them, and eventually they will break. So, you know, with this in mind, that this shrine potentially will fall to uh, the blue team, I think the red team needs to get super aggressive. There we go. The matchlock are charging in. They're going all in to try to find these Yari, these Ashigaru who are hiding in the tree line. Uh, There it is. There it is. They finally found them. And that's all they wanted to do. They wanted to know where they were. He needs to fall these guys back. It just... Yeah, there he goes. No, he's going in! Oh, no. They're not going to get there in time. They're going to get absolutely annihilated. You can't... You cannot charge them in like this. At the very least, put one unit in the front to absorb most of the shots. Let's see, though, if this unit can land a shot. No, they're not. They got him on the run. Oh, but they're breaking. It just wasn't enough. And there you have it, guys. That was a valiant charge for sure. But unfortunately, it did not lead uh, to a successful um, charge. There was a smart play by Trevor to fall back there and use his guns. And there you go, guys. That's that's the battle. So oh, that was very back and forth. That was very intense. Um, it was a lot of fun to watch this one um, play out and just see how they use the different unit types and uh, different situations. You know, the Shogun 2 is so fast. You can get so many battles in and there's so many different unique situations that you can encounter. It's such a great game. Let's go ahead and um, end the battle and look at the uh, replay results. All right. So, um, like I said, this was sent in by Trevor. He got, holy smokes, 1,600 kills. 16, oh, can't talk. 1,600 kills. His teammate... C4 getting 1,700 kills, nearly 1,800 kills. And we got uh, Fury over here getting 630. Now, on the other side, the team was pretty even. It looks like everyone kind of carried their weight here. Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. And uh, they weren't able to get it done. I believe this bottom player was the blue on blue faction. The top player, this was the red and turquoise. And then I think Major Cougar was the black on black. So... Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's battle. A short but very entertaining one. Um, let me know if you want to see more Shogun 2 on the channel. Uh, I, again, I would like to play some battles in the future. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the likes. You can pause this whenever you want to just look at the different units and see how many kills they got. Um, wow, it's cool that they show the results of all the units here. Very nice. I don't know. I guess I'm just used to medieval too. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on the battlefield.